The hardware requirements of Windows 11, along with several other hacks and security breaches, have brought many new security concerns into focus for everyone. So let's talk about how Azure is helping you stay secure and help you get ready for Windows 11. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. A lot of folks still deploy Gen 1 VMs on-prem and in the cloud, mostly because it's familiar and comfortable, or because their company's view of IT is that they should keep the business running, not introduce change. But in the age of hackers, malware, and ransom attacks, this is no longer a good option. Public service announcement, if this is your second or third time you've been watching the Azure Academy and you're not yet subscribed, that is the universe telling you that you need to click that subscribe button. Okay, PSA over, let's get into this. Gen 2 VMs were released in Server 2012 R2, and that introduced several new features like shielded virtual machines, VHD X drives, and secure boot. And in Azure, we've had Gen 2 VM support since 2019, but one of those key benefits was missing until recently. We couldn't do secure boot because we didn't have a way to have TPM modules in the cloud. All of this is available today in a preview feature called Trusted Launch. Trusted Launch allows you to securely boot your virtual machines, which means that the boot of the operating system, system drivers, are done with a signed bootloader. And that makes it impossible for bootkits and rootkits that would otherwise be able to infect the boot process with unsigned code. And things like that have been exploited to get malware into systems. Finally, by leveraging a virtual TPM or trusted platform module, as part of your virtual machine, Azure can do measurements of that boot process and give attestation that the machine actually booted in compliance so that you can establish trust with that VM. And in case you haven't heard, most of your laptops and desktops that exist right now have support for virtual TPM chips built right into your processors. You just need to enable the feature in your BIOS and then you can be ready for Windows 11 as well. Now to access the Trusted Launch Preview, you'll need this special link, and then that'll open the Azure portal for you. So while we're here, let's deploy Windows 11 in Azure. So go ahead and click to add a new resource at the top, search for Windows 11, and then let's pick Windows 11 Pro, fill out the basics, disks, and network tabs like you always do, and then over on the advanced page at the bottom, you'll find the selection there for Gen 2 VMs. Be sure that that's selected, and then we have the selection box for Trusted Launch. So go ahead and check that box, and and uh, check that box, and oh, why won't it work? Oh, Windows 11 isn't a supported image. Well, if you click there on the Learn More link, that'll take you to the Azure Docs, and you'll see the list of supported VM operating systems and the regions that they're supported in, along with the VM SKUs. And notice Windows 11 isn't on the docs list yet. And that makes sense because Windows 11 isn't officially released yet. Now don't let that bother you because we can still cheat and deploy Windows 11 and I'm going to show you how in just a second. But today official support for Trusted Launch in preview does have Windows 10 Enterprise and Windows 10 Multi-Session. And we're going to cover how to do this with Azure Virtual Desktop in Windows 11 in our next video, so be sure you've hit the notification bell so you don't miss that one. For now, let's go back to the Azure portal to the Basics tab and select a new image. The problem here wasn't really that it was Windows 11, it was that it was Windows 11 Pro. Windows 11 Pro does not have support for this at all, but Windows 11 Enterprise does. So go ahead and select that at the bottom, and then go right back to the Advanced tab and make sure Gen 2 is selected, which it should be automatically. And now you can select Trusted Launch, which gives you the two other options of Secure Boot and VTPM. Select both of those, finish your build as normal, and then log on to the VM, say hello to Windows 11, and then go to Run and type in tpm.msc. Open that up and the screen should look like this, showing you that your virtual TPM chip is enabled in Windows 11. And then you can open the system information app just like you always would and see right there in the middle that secure boot is yes. So Trusted Launch is working here in Windows 11, but remember Windows 11 is in preview and not officially supported yet. 
and it's not on the trusted launch preview supported operating system list. So just keep that in mind. Now in our next video, what I'm going to cover is Windows 11 in Azure Virtual Desktop in a fully automated deployment still using trusted launch. So you don't want to miss that. Click right over there and I'll see you soon. Happy learning.